John chapter 6 verses 24 to 35. It is written, One does not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes forth from the mouth of God. When the crowd saw that neither Jesus nor his disciples were there, they themselves got into boats, and came to Capernaum looking for Jesus. And when they found him across the sea they said to him, Rabbi, when did you get here? Jesus answered them and said, Amen, Amen, I say to you, you are looking for me not because you saw signs, but because you ate the loaves and were filled. Do not work for food that perishes, but for the food that endures for eternal life, which the Son of Man will give you. For on him the Father, God, has set his seal. So, they said to him, What can we do to accomplish the works of God? Jesus answered and said to them, This is the work of God that you believe in the one he sent. So, they said to him, What sign can you do, that we may see and believe in you? Our ancestors ate manna in the desert, as it is written, he gave them bread from heaven to eat. So, Jesus said to them, Amen, Amen, I say to you, it was not Moses who gave the bread from heaven, my Father gives you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of God is that, which comes down from heaven and gives life down from heaven and gives life to the world. So they said to him, Sir, give us this bread always. Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life, whoever comes to me will never hunger, and whoever believes in me will never thirst. The people seem to think that Jesus is about to give them an endless supply of bread, just as the father was leading the Israelites through the desert. They don't know what to think when Jesus says that, he himself, is that living bread, the true bread from heaven. Odd isn't it, the people are thinking of material things, instead of spiritual things. They are interested in a constant supply of food, to help them through their journey, in their temporary life here on earth. They are missing the point of what Jesus is saying, he is offering them what they need to know, in order to enter the kingdom of God, or the eternal life in heaven. For as long as I can remember our society has been telling women if they use certain cosmetics, they will look 20 years younger. Men were too attractive they need to join a fitness center and lose some weight so they can develop big muscles. Have you ever seen an advertisement offering to make your soul more pleasing to God? Temporal beauty by definition is just that, temporary. Your soul is more important, and has eternal consequences. The soul needs God, just as. The soul needs God, just as the body needs food. When you are really hungry, you will take even junk food to satisfy your hunger, but what does that do for your temporal body? It's a short-term fix that will not give your temporal body true nourishment, only the sense of being full. Your soul knows it needs to fill its for God, with godly things, not short-term fixes, like a purchase of clothes, cars, or houses. At Mass, Jesus gives us spiritual bread for the soul not only in Holy Communion, but also in his teaching through the readings at Mass. As you continue your journey to heaven certain readings at Mass really feel like sending you a message or setting you straight. John chapter 6 verse 27, Do not work for food that perishes but for the food that endures for eternal life, which the Son of Man will give you. For on him the Father, God, has set his seal. The Jewish Talmud tells us the word seal means baker. In ancient times people made their bread and brought it to the baker who baked it for them. But how could you tell one person's bread from another when they all went into the oven together? The person who owned the bread put their seal, their mark, on the bread that belonged to them. In verse 27, Jesus tells us that the Father has placed his seal on Jesus and thus on Jesus and thus identified Jesus as his own. Jesus also tells us that he will give us the food that endures for eternal life. Moving on to verse 28, we hear the people ask, what can we do to accomplish the works of God? The people think that salvation all depends on them and their works. Not so, salvation depends on God who sends you the grace, and the willingness to follow Him. No matter what you do on your own, it will not save you, it is doing the will of God that will save you. Seek God's will in all you do, and He will show you the path to take, Proverbs 3 verse 6. All right, I am willing to do the works of God but what are they? John chapter 6 verse 29, Jesus answered and said to them, This is the work of God, that you believe in the one he sent. Whom did God send? The one marked with God's seal, with God's sign, Jesus. In verse 30 they ask Jesus, What sign can you do, 
that we may see and believe in you. We see and believe in you. Moses gave our forefathers manna in the desert so they could believe in him, so what can you do? Jesus then tells them the bread that Moses gave was not of his own doing, but a grace given to the people by God. In verse 33, Jesus says, For the bread of God is that which comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. Wait a minute, let's back up to verse 27. What came down from heaven marked with the Father's seal, just like the bread which went into the oven. Jesus. Verse 34, Lord, give us this bread always. He will, we call it the bread of life, the yeast, which is consecrated, at every Mass, and you can then eat the bread of eternal life that the Father has sent to you marked with his seal. Verse 35, Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. John 6 verse 35, I am the bread of life.